Hi, my name is Alan Molnar. I'm the director of the Johnny Pacheco Latin Music and Jazz Festival at Lehman College. This week has proved to be a very wonderful opportunity for us to gather and listen to and prefer, perform music in person after a couple of years of being away from each other. And um, it's so wonderful to uh, hear all of the bands that have played with us at the festival for us, at the festival over the past 10 uh, years or so. And um, it's just remarkable to see uh, what a great job all of the directors have been doing over the last couple of years when we had all kinds of challenges to face. And we had you know, a lot of really, really great help from here in the Bronx. I'll talk about that later in the program. But um, I, I want to introduce our uh, program for this evening. This evening's grand finale performance of the 2023 Pacheco Festival will feature the Lehman College Guitar Ensemble under the director of Mr. Robert Winbeal, the Lehman College Jazz uh, Ensemble directed by me, and um, our guest clinician, uh, Dr. Kurt Gartner, will also be uh, our guest performer later in the show as well. Um, but now, it is my great pleasure to introduce a friend and colleague from the Calhoun School who was here the other day with his very talented students uh, performing. He, he will be performing uh, as part of the Victor Lynn Trio.
And that is the essence of uh, great creative jazz. As I like to say, the art of imp improvising is like composing, but in real time without the uh, ability to go back and fix something, okay? You play it, you say it, and you move on. It's an amazing art form and a great way to um, explore uh, and really all, all we're following is a lead sheet like this, whether for memory or, um, or, or we can read them. And all that's on here is typically a formal structure of some sort, and we have a, a, the melody written in and the harmonic changes. And everyone knows what they have to do uh, because they've been working on their instruments and playing different elements of, of all of this. So it's, it's very exciting. And um, it was interesting to, see, to listen to all the um, uh, creative music that, um, uh, that Victor and his ensemble was playing, uh, wonderful standard, uh, standard music. And we're gonna start with a, a great Miles Davis standard called um, um, Milestones and continue with the John Coltrane composition uh, called Equinox. And at that point, my colleague Robert Wimbiel is gonna come on and he'll take the microphone and introduce the guitar ensemble. We'll, go, we'll be going back and forth between the two ensembles for the rest of the program this evening. And
we've been an ensemble for about 10 years, different members uh, each semester. But uh, I'm really, really happy to have these guys here tonight. And um, we're so glad you made it out. First thing I want to say is thank you to, uh, to Victor Lin and his trio. That was just fantastic. And how about a round of applause for those guys? And the second thing I want to say is a thank you to my colleague, uh, Alan Molnar, for uh, every single Pacheco Festival. He's like, guitar ensemble, which is great for us, of course, because uh, this is something that Professor Molnar cooked up. Uh, this was just an idea, you know, 15 years ago, something like that. And uh, it's been going on. Right, even through COVID, they streamed, streamed a couple festivals. So anyway, we're going to start uh, with a tune that uh, was written uh, originally by uh, a guy named Nat Simon and Buddy Bernier. And it was, uh, it's called Poinciana, which is the name of a tree in the Caribbean. <clears throat> and it was, uh, made, it was made popular mostly in the 1950s, but it became the theme song for uh, Ahmad Jamal's Piano Trio. It's a very famous record of his out there. And uh, he had a drummer, uh, let's see, uh, let me see if I can get his name here, uh, Vernel Fournier. Fournier. Plays a very distinctive beat that I made sure our drummer, Dimitri Smith, who you will, you heard playing vibraphone, is now on the drums. So, so we'll start with Poinciana uh, based on Ahmad Jamal's version.
Life has played a game on me I'm lost in a sea of misery yeah. My love has turned its back on me No, no Heartache, why won't you let me be? I said now, baby Have some mercy, please Don't make me beg on bending knees I said, please, mercy, mercy Every single night, hoping you'll return and make things right. You don't show when I'm sitting here all alone, all alone. To pray you're gonna call me on the phone. Oh, baby, have some mercy, please. Don't make me beg on bending knees. I said, please, mercy, mercy. I'm begging for one more chance, one chance, one more.
twist And loving daddy is a thing I cannot resist Your love and understanding You've been giving, giving, giving Without you I can stand Go on living my baby Have some mercy Please don't make me Beg on bend your knees I said mercy
quickly. Uh, all the way to the, my left is um, uh, somebody who's been a colleague and a student of mine, and, and we're very good friends for many years now uh, through Lehman. Uh, he's a great bass player, great guitar player, and so happy to have him as part of the ensemble. His name is Alejandro Castro. Yeah. You've already met, uh, but I'll say it again, uh, the wonderful drummer, Dimitri Smith. And then moving along, Ronald Martinez again. Uh, our newest member, Moises Cruz. And uh, these two haven't been introduced yet. Uh, right here is Chris Wood. And uh, bringing some very special female energy to the guitar ensemble, Bernice Gomero. Uh, this, this is called the Johnny Pacheco Latin Music and Jazz Festival, and I always like to uh, mix it up a little bit, so this, uh, we, we turn this into something a little jazzy, but it was really kind of a country crossover hit in the 60s, okay, uh, by a guy named Roger Miller. So uh, I sincerely hope you do enjoy our version of King of the Road.
just want to make a quick shout out before, well, Alan, everybody else can come on out. Uh, a thank you to uh, some of the people behind the scenes who make this happen. Alejandro is one of them, I want to say. And also, guys, uh, that you're not going to see so much, but uh, uh, let's see, I, I don't know Dave's last name. He's a new dad. Dave, the guitar man of the Bronx, is here, and he makes the sound happen. So let's hear it for Dave. <laughs> Somewhere. Also, uh, I'd like to say a couple of uh, friends of mine here who work uh, for uh, BronxNet and in the Multimedia Center, and that's Steve Buonanote. Please, Steve Buonanote. <laughs> and also very important, very glad to have him here with us, is Carl Peters. Yeah. And here's my colleague, Alan Molnar, to uh, bring uh, Alan Molnar one more time. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. First of all, I would like to say thank you to BronxNet Executive Director Michael Max Dobby. His support of the Pacheco Festival during the pandemic provided me with the opportunity to feature the ongoing dedicated work of the Pacheco Festival related music teachers and their students uh, by giving me uh, a program that we call um, Giant Steps from the Bronx, which was aired every uh, Friday evening during the Pacheco Festival season for those two years. And um, also a big thank you to the BronxNet production team that are part of tonight's program, but also the part uh, of the Giant Steps from the Bronx programs uh, for the last two years when I needed their help, they were always there. So thank you, everyone at BronxNet. Awesome. <laughs> And thank you to all our friends uh, at Lehman Stages here at Lehman uh, and Le Lehman Studios. And they were called out by name uh, by, by Robert just a few moments ago. Um, wonderful support of the festival. And yes, I want to uh, also say our production team, our production audio team, um, has done an amazing job capturing all the great music that's been, go been going on here uh, over the last few days. And uh, they're doing some really innovative work up there. And um, uh, brilliant, brilliant um, uh, musicians, um, technicians, and all of that. So thank you for the amazing work. I also would like to thank Alejandro Castro and David Manzana for all their amazing contributions to this event. In closing, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to everyone at the Louis Armstrong Educational Foundation for their hard work and support of music in the, in the schools. The wonderful, legacy, the, excuse me, the wonderful legacy of Louis Armstrong has, for many years, been an inspiration for musicians and music lovers of all ages. And it's truly amazing to see just how deep the inspiration and encouragement was felt by so many young music students and their teachers during a time when the entire world was experiencing a serious health crisis. They, were, they have been our funders for the last four years, and uh, I'm so um, pleased to, to say their generosity and the generosity that Louis Armstrong uh, put in place uh, by all that brilliant music that he created so many years ago, and they're still, that, that music is still touching us in so many ways now. So thank you. I want to thank all of you to who are here in our studio audience and everyone who's tuning in. Uh, thank you for listening, and I look forward to seeing you at next year's Johnny Pacheco Latin Music and Jazz Festival at Lehman College. So, um, and thank you for, uh, to Robert Wimbiel for all the amazing work uh, that you've done with the uh, guitar students. And we also have some pretty good bass players around here. Lee Marvin, who's not here today, uh, is our bass teacher. He's, we've gigged with him many times, and um, he does a great job teaching here as an adjunct. 
Um, and now we are going to play a classic by uh, Paul Desmond, uh, a piece that was made very famous by Dave Brubeck. And uh, this is our, uh, oh, I still have one more person to thank. Okay, we will get back to the invitation for the song in a moment. Um, a very good friend has been uh, a clinician uh, at our festival for about four or five times in person and also virtually during the pandemic. And we met about 20 years ago at the Percussive Arts Society uh, conference in Indiana or somewhere, I forget where it was, uh, in one of the wonderful cities in, in, in the Midwest. And um, Dr. Kurt Gartner is a, a professor at Kansas State University in Manhattan, Kansas. And we have worked together a lot of exciting experimental uh, performing over the internet and all that uh, interesting things that are developing now. And um, uh, he did a wonderful job, as he always does, uh, adjudicating the, the uh, performances this um, in the last couple of days. And we are going to ask him to be our guest artist on this next piece, uh, uh, which, is, which is take five. So uh, Dr. Kurt Gardner, would you please come down? Thank you. 